Hello and welcome to Factorio single belt Amocretio. Let's see what we want to do in this episode. I think that the only thing we really can do, well we can get rid of a lot of uh, stuff that we don't want. I was about to say trash, but it's not trash. It's just that we don't need it at the moment. Uh, and that, and that, anything else? Nope, that's it. Let's see, do we have any batteries? No. So the only thing we can do really is to get a bit more concrete planked out. So let's go and do that. And then hopefully the research will solve itself. No, it won't. Oh, and we don't have any copper. So I guess let's go up, grab a bit of copper, grab a bit of iron, grab a bit of steel. Uh, or at least, at least make sure that we have a bit of everything. Steel we have more than, than enough of. But a bit of copper and a bit of iron. Oh, yeah, just a bit of copper. just a bit of iron yes that's all but so what and then we can create what we need oh and i discovered that we have more stuff we don't want in our inventory like those three things anything else no i think we're fine yeah let's keep oh we don't need this yeah, but the rest of the things I think we will just keep. And then we can, on the way back, we can grab a bit of uh, iron gear wheels as well. Yeah, let's, let's fill our inventory. Why not? And then let's have a look here. We have, we have 200 more. So let's go and... Oh! We wanted to get the red research going anyway. I kind of forgot about that. Do we have iron gear wheels? Yes, we do. So we only need a bit of copper. Actually, let's see if we can help the research out in any way. We should. Nah, not in an easy way at least. So I guess that's it. Let's grab all of the uh, concrete once more. And then we go out and build roads. Yay! Oh, and no trains. We want to pick up this, this uh, radar. Okay, let's just see that we haven't lost any radar coverage. And it doesn't seem like it. So I guess what we need to do... Oh, we should have a look at the power. Do we have enough during the night time? Yes, it looks like we do. We are not using the uh, steam engines at all. So it looks just great. Oh, and now the fighters are attacking. Where are they? They are over here to the left and I think they broke another piece of a wall but it's only a wall it's not worth uh, it's not worth doing anything with it let's instead get roads and when i think roads i think about this area as well what is the best way of getting here is it through this way or through this that way or both ways maybe I'm thinking that if we get the road, we should have it something like this. Oh, and then we should... Why not? Just go like this. Oh, we can actually reach that. But how do we get it through? Well, we could do it 
No, we can't. Ah, damn it. Oh, we are not. We are in. We are in map mode. Let's go out of map mode. I was not aware of those small pieces of water, meaning that let's pick it up. Let's pick everything here up again. Come on. Let's pick everything up and then we can... Yeah, we need to pick it up before we can do anything. Oh, there we have water, there we have water. I guess we have to accept this one. Can we drive through it? That's the question. It's over here. Can we drive through? Yeah, we can drive through that one as well. Okay. So maybe we... This one we can't. That seems fair. Maybe we don't need to worry too much about it being water then. So if we place it over here... Yeah, that, that could work. Let's do it like this. And get it all the way up to our main road well no not really there's no main road and a sec another road that's secondary it's all just a road but let's get it all the way up and then all the way here and then we need somehow to build uh, a wall. Oh, 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 that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, and the robots are kind of tired. Let's get rid of the wall again. Maybe we should ignore that and just build. Oh, we need more. We need more uh, gates. Where's the gates? Shouldn't they? Oh. Oops. I'm thinking having gates like that. And then the wall on the side. And we shouldn't be able to go through. And we are not. Oh. And... Uh, oh. Wait. Is that... That's the small lake, I think. Yes, it is. But we can't get through anyway, so it's no problem. Let's plank down a few... Uh, a few turrets as well. There we go. And here we go. And we need a bit of power for that. One there, and... oh no. Okay, can we do it with normal power poles, maybe? What if... no, we need a big power pole to get over here. We could do it with a substation, I think. Shouldn't that reach? No, <laughs> not even that. Okay, let's do a big power pole there, and one over here. That doesn't look very nice, but it should work. And we have all of the concrete placed over here. Oh, this is actually wrong. Mm. Yeah, let's remove this part of the railroad. Just this part. Because then we can remove... Then we can remove... The concrete and we can get it into this line instead and get everything in the right line wait that didn't match what about this why does it look like this that's not good That's a bit better. Okay. Oh, and then we need to replace the railroad. Whoops. Okay. 
and we have this oh yes then we have this area to fix like that and like that there we go we have that road being started oh and then we have to go around this coal and then down and i'm thinking oh wait we have oh we are already around that but we might have planted that down in the wrong location. Let's have a look. If we extend that, will it become problems with the power poles? No, not really. I mean, it's not in the ideal location. Oh, it's not ideal. Ideal would be to have it here, but then we get close to the coal. And we might get problems with that instead. So let's not worry too much about that. Instead, let's just go and see what we can do and have a look at the map as well. We don't need a road up here, I think, but we need a road up here. So that means we need basically a road like this. And I think that should go all the way up. More or less. Oh. Something like that. And then we just... Yeah. There we ended the road. And... There we go. That's that road. We have to connect them. Let's do it about this line. And there we go. And go to map view, please. Now we can... Oh, wait. There's more over here that wasn't covered. I thought everything got covered. Oh, well. Do we have any more in the car? No, we don't. So this is all of the concrete we have, and then we, of course, will get more. Because we have loads more in the base, I think. It, it feels, it at least feels like the concrete is created really, really fast. Oh, that robot is slow, let's wait for it. And we have like 2000 concrete. So that should be fun. Oh! Look at the uh, research. When we, oh, when we added that uh, small, uh, small amount of copper to the the red research, it jumped quite a bit. So maybe we will have to do that again. We only need three hundred packs, so. If that's everything, let's have a look at the map. Oh, we don't have any green wire. There we go. Oh, it seems that we have... Oh, it's the blue science packs now, I think. Let's look. Yeah. So, we have blue science pack here. We have... Uh, black here and blue here but we don't have blue and black in the same location but we have a 31 black and 13 blue only so we need both of them okay let's go out and uh, complete the road or at least complete the concrete we have and then let's look forward how do we build the road i'm thinking down here somehow Build a road over here, go down here like, and something like that, build a road on the side here, yeah, close to the power poles over here, we go down, we have, uh, maybe we have a road going up on this side to be able to get to this uh, bit of the wall, yeah. Why not? Okay, so to me it 
looks like we have some power problems right now. And we do. We need more personal robot parts. And we need to get all our robots back. How is the... We still have a couple of hundred uh, concrete. That's actually not too good. Maybe we should go into the factory and help it out a bit by moving things manually. And then I'm mostly thinking about battery production, but it might be some uh, science pack production as well. Oh, we are getting attacked, I think. Yes. Oh, no, we were, well, we were technically attacked, but uh, the turrets took them out before they managed did manage to do anything should we get the rest done over here I think we should exit the call and then we then we plunk stuff down manually and then it shouldn't take too long for the, the robots to charge I hope Let's see. Yeah, we have we have plenty of charge. That's the thing. As soon as the robots get back, we get plenty of charge immediately. Okay, so we need to go back to the base, I guess. Oh, yeah, I know. I did not mean to do that. So, oh, we don't need a road up here. That's basically what I wanted to check. But this is to all to the base and not to the uh, mining outposts so we don't need a road it's just fine as it is no trains please okay let's see what we can do we are lacking uh, batteries and we know that is usually because of a lack of iron plates and or copper plates So doing that we should get battery production going. Let's see about the science packs. We need black and or grey, black or grey, uh, I don't remember what I call them. And we need the blue ones, oh we need electric mining drills. And we need gun turrets, okay. Mining drills and gun turrets. Oh, mining drills over here. Iron plates. Uh, let me, oh, gun turrets. Let, oh, copper plates. I thought it was iron plates over here as well. But copper plates is about the same thing. We will go up and grab we will actually grab all of the batteries we have but we will go up and grab more both iron and copper plates and from that I guess we just help out as much as we can at least for the moment we can't do much more well we can wait and wait and wait but I don't see any problems picking up a lot of uh, iron or and copper and just planking it down in the assembly machines oh we actually picked up all of the iron and all of the copper that's that's more than I thought we would be able to get how about iron gear wheels we could pick up a bunch of that as well why not mm, let's get rid of those and that and the, oh what what did I do why did I pause that area oh I wanted to get a bit of uh, copper wire and green circuits as well let's pick up the green circuits and then we can't pick up any, anything else our inventory is full but now we should be able to help out 
Of course, we have caused production problems as well, meaning that, yes, helping out, great, but we are causing a lot of problems as well. Iron and copper. Oh, and what more was it? Iron gear wheels. Okay. And then we needed these ones. Iron, iron gear wheels. And uh, uh, green circuits. Sometimes I say electronic circuits, sometimes I say green circuits. It's all the same. It's just, yeah, different names for the same thing. Oh, we have a bunch of batteries ready now. Let's grab it. There we go. Does that mean we can create the next one? No, we need, wait, we need processing units. We need a hundred of them and we have zero. Okay. Same with that, by the way. Sometimes I say blue circuits, sometimes processing units. It's all the same. Maybe we need a bit of red circuits as well. In that case, we will figure that out eventually, I guess. Uh, what do we do now? Oh, I know what we do. We build a new train, of course. Oh, we have no copper train. They are both out grabbing copper. Let's have a look. Where are they? One train over here. And one train. Where's the other train? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, it, it, it is pretty good. It is the way we want it. But we want more, want more of it. And we can get that as soon as this is empty. Actually, we could help out emptying these uh, these chests. That's, that might be what we need to do. But first, let's create trains. And let's create the actually four trains. I'm missing four trains. Let's create all of them. I only have space for one, two, three trains right now. But there is one more, or possibly two more, but one more that we uh, need to get uh, as soon as possible. Trains. That's enough for uh, for two trains. And that's two trains, three trains, and the fourth is a fluid wagon for uh, petroleum gas. We need a bit more engines. How many more? Four more engines. Two. Please come on. Give me a few, a few more engines. One more. There we go. Yes. That should be all the trains we need. We need a little bit of a fuel. So let's grab a bit from the uh, from the coal chests, of course. Where else? And everything else have been emptied out. It's only the coal left over here. Yeah, we definitely want to get that fixed. But let's create the trains. And uh, where do we do that? Let's just use this lane, I guess. I don't really think it matters. And we have one train. And two trains, almost. Okay. Oh, and some uh, fuel. So the first train. Uh, 
Uh, that's the button. The first train, copy this, paste it, paste it, and then change it to stone one. We shouldn't have changed from stone two to stone uh, from stone one to stone two. We should have just added the stone one as well. And do that inventory full and inactivity for five seconds. Remove stone. No, remove stone two, please. Go to stone one. Goody. The next train will be a copper train. No, uh, a coal train, I mean. Which means we have to create a coal outpost. We could do it over here and just see if we can get this to go up. Yeah, let's do it that way. That's an easy way of doing it. And an easy way that actually makes sense, I think. Oh, just one small problem. We don't have any rails or any railway stuff at all. So let's go and grab a bit of that. And then we have two more trains. One train for uh, for uranium and one more train that we don't have any space for yet at all. Maybe we shouldn't even have created anything for that yet. Train signals and train stops. Great. That's that. Now we just need to get onto the train and uh, go out and get it into position as well. And I really want a bit more trains actually. Trains that are waiting to get into the station. As this now with the copper, we are just waiting. Well, we got the train back, but basically just waiting. That kills the productivity. Okay, so at least we are out. Oh, we are out of the way. The problem is that uh, the other train can get to just over here and wait, and then no, none of the trains can move. So let's get a chain signal done. Oh, that's wait. That's the train going. Oh yeah, we have the signals on the inside. So this, the train can only pass this one if the next one is green. Which is fine for this, shouldn't be a problem. And for this, it will stop the train. And we can't, we can't come from over here. Oh yeah, that, that works out. So where is the coal? Maybe we should start with that. Oh, we don't have a lot of inventory space. But the inventory space we have, we will have to use for trees. Oh, we do have a lot of logistics trash slots as well. Let's see. Yeah, we have. Seems we have a bit. Oh. Oh, we were on the north side of the coal deposit. Whoops. Something like that, something like that. Let's just get a bit, get this whole coal deposit cleared out. And yes, we are getting uh, low on inventory space, but we expected that. So it's nothing, it's nothing to be surprised about at least. And I know I didn't bring any miners with me, mining drills. Honestly, I forgot about it. Oh, that's good. We don't have a lot of inventory space, but we have a bit. I just wanted to make sure that we leave enough space between the station over here and the coal to be able to handle the uh, belts. And however we do it, I don't see that becoming a problem. Oh, 
Okay, let's go something like that. And then just find the station. Maybe. The station is even on, on the right side, yay. I do it like that. And then we have to fix all of it, of course. Oh, and we need one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those to plank down. Um, and then we name this. This should be coal one. There we go. That's not worry about the color right now. And we can set up the timetable for the, this train, but we could also, oh, could also, let's get rid of that power pole. I don't know why that's still in the blueprint, but we could, yeah, make sure we have power. We don't have any mining, but that's kind of expected. We haven't added it. Call one until inventory is full and inactivity for five seconds and then call temp unload until inventory is empty and inactivity for five seconds. So please go there. Of course we could load this with fuel as well. Please go to coal temp unload and we will actually stop the train over there. Uh, if nothing else, we want to make sure the color is okay and to get the uh, locomotives fully fueled. But let's go up here and go to manual please. Yeah. The inserters are fueling the train as this as good as it can. I think that's pretty okay color. And we still have the, the colors of everything. Great. Oh yeah, it might be a problem to fuel this locomotive. But we can't end this locomotive because we are unloading after them. But I guess we can't get everything to be perfect. Now the question is, do we need this? Uh, well, yes, of course we need that. The uh, uranium train. Of course we need it. Let's see, we want to, oh, I've got, let's jump into this train and let's go to coal one fuel is okay. I basically want to uh, make sure it have the, the correct color. But let's go over there. Oh yeah, we have to put a few signals down as well. Copy paste. We can't use the signals we have. No, we have to make sure that we can never use more than one train on this part of the track. But let's see, going in here, that should be a normal signal. Going out, that should be a chain signal. And then both, well, getting in here should be a chain signal, meaning that we do have the empty spot before we are ever getting into this area. Getting out, that could be a normal signal. That's fine. Okay. That should solve the, uh, I wouldn't say problems, because we haven't had any problems with it yet. I'm just going to say that solves our coal. Well, except that we don't have any actual miners and that we probably don't need the coal at all. But apart from that, it solves the problem. So you please go to unload station and then I can uh, get off the train. 
and then we have to assemble the next train and I think I'm just gonna make like a dummy station somewhere maybe just extend this and get another dummy station oh and this will leave soon enough I know that that's why I don't dare to cross the line rail line oh let's cross it wait why doesn't it leave? I don't know why it took that long to do it, but okay, I guess. Oops. Yeah, let's see if we can just get... Oh, we don't even need a dummy station. We can just build a normal station. Not like that. Let's get rid of that. And we need to get a normal train over here with kind of a station, wherever that is. There we go. There we go. And we call this, what do we call it? Uranium, okay. We call that Uranium 1. And let's just make it that green. I don't know if that's the right color, but it's a color at least. And then we place our train. Locomotive, two wagons. And another locomotive. And some fuel. This. Jump into it. Add the uh, uranium one. Until inventory full. And inactivity for 5 seconds. And then let's add uranium unload. Until inventory empty. And an activity for five seconds okay go there please okay good now go there please great oh and then we should uh, pause the train for the moment we actually don't want it to leave this station because if it leaves this station, we don't have control over it. Where did my car go? Oh, there it is. Oh, and I forgot about signaling over here. But since we have the train to manual, it should be okay. Let's hope it's okay. And then get problems if it isn't. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have all of the trains except one. Let's get the engines for that train as well. And then we can create the train. We just can't put it into traffic yet. Oh, that was a lot of engines. Good. Now let's get rid of the rest of the engines. We don't want them. We don't want that. We do want the coal. Something like that. Actually this might be more than one train. But so might the other ones. So that's, uh, that's nothing special really. Okay, let's see if we go from here and just to the right and then we put, there we have it, we put the station over there and a couple of signals. 
Why isn't this a chain signal? That might cause problems, I think. Let's change it to a chain signal. It might not. I, I'm i not sure, but it is to leave. We have to leave, and then we have that. Since I don't know if it will cause problems or not, I'm not even going to worry about it. So we have one station over here, which is the station station, and then we have one over here, which is the other station. And it's about here, I guess. Station, one, two, three, four. Maybe one step further to the left. Yes. Then we have those stations in a nice line. I actually think it's offset a bit. Let's have a look. If we use the big power poles. Yeah, they are offset a bit, but it doesn't matter. We are not going to use the stations really, so that's fine. So we call this uh, doo -doo -doo. we call this uranium one unload, which is to unload the petroleum gas. Yes, and then we call this station up here. We call that. Uh, petroleum gas and the color is of course wrong it's totally wrong but we are not even worrying about that at the moment so let's get the train done we have that we have two wagons and we have the other side of the train and a bit of fuel oh we actually need to fuel this train manually, which means we need to grab a bit more fuel. How is the research going, by the way? Let's have a quick look, if we can find it. We need more blue science packs. We are fine on black ones, but blue science packs. We need a bit more, yeah. So let's get that. Oh, only a hundred. Oh, there wasn't any more coal. That's more like it. Of course, we will drop whatever we are not using. We will just drop in some uh, some chest somewhere. Oh yeah, now I know why we don't have a train over here. I was I was confusing myself. Okay, so this train, all of the trains have load and then unload. This train is petroleum gas until inventory full and inactivity for five seconds and then uranium one unload. Huh. Where is the uranium one station? Let's have a look at that until inventory empty and inactivity for five seconds. Please let's go to petroleum gas. Okay, let's go to uranium one unload. There we go. Go to manual. Uranium ore. Oh, okay. I copied more than I thought. This should be uranium one. Okay, good. We found it. 
Let's make this train white if we can. That's not white, that's black. Or maybe, just maybe we will do it like... Yellowish? Yeah, let's do that. It's not the color I want, but it works. It's another color than the other trains, that's the main thing. Okay, we have that, we have... Oh, that's the stone train, that's good. Good stone train. You're my hero. And this seems to be... Okay, until empty cargo inventory, let's go to Uranium 1. Until full cargo inventory, and then inactivity for five seconds get rid of that please do that go there oh why what why can't we go there please go to you oh that's true this is set up so we can't get into this area while there is a train and we have a train loading stone so that's fine and actually we don't care that much about it so let's let's do this and then when we get here the next time and find out that this train is in the way of everything let's get it out of the way in the meantime what did we say we said blue signs is in is having problems possibly because we grabbed all of the engines i don't think it's because of that but it might be let's get rid of all the train stuff all of the coal those two walls we don't need and then let's go over and see what is the problem with the blue science packs problem is electric mining drills yes that's about what i thought it would be electric mining drills and its iron plates that's something we can fix talking about planking down iron plates we have quite an area where we can plank down iron plates and copper plates and then we need a bit more iron over here and then we actually want to grab the, uh, the batteries can we make another one of those no oh we need more steel and we need more pro and more blue circuits Blue circuits, oh, that's not enough. That's still not a hundred. Oh well, we are getting there. The steel, we can grab a bit. Copper, we can grab a bit as well. And then we just continue helping out. don't know what to do about this if we can empty it any faster i mean we can split it up to more inserters and then we would be able to empty it faster or we could have like fast inserters or stack inserters but we have a full belt already and that makes it not that useful to increase the speed of the unloading we are unloading it quickly we just need a bit more uh, a bit more space we are not unloading it quickly but if we do we would get into trouble okay we basically have collected everything 
Oh, except that we need more processing units. And this should be enough batteries for like, for almost three of those uh, roboports. Let's see, we want three of them. So if we get three, that's perfect. So I will actually grab those and then we have enough for three of them. And we only need the blue circuits. Oh, what are we missing to create blue circuits? We are missing green circuits. Oh, we have a bunch of those. We are also missing red circuits. Let's get those used as well. Hopefully we don't, oh no. We need the red circuits for the personal robot ports. Damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Oh well, we can get the blue circuits at least. Let's get rid of that power armor. The old armor, we don't need it anymore. We have enough to make enough blue circuits to make one personal robot port mark two. We just don't have enough of everything else to make it. Okay, so what are we missing now? Research, it's still blue and a bit gray. How is this going? Okay, gray, what are we missing there? It's the gun turrets again. Okay, let's go and help those out. Is it iron? No, it's copper. And we get the iron as well, of course. Yes. So there we go. Wait, iron gear wheels. Let's add that as well. Of course, if we have it, let's help out, add it. Yep, that's it. We are doing research at a sp how to say this at a speed that I haven't seen research being done in this game before. That's the truth. I haven't seen it being done this slow before. Not that it's a positive thing, but it is a thing. Those, and we get a few over here as well. Oh yeah, and we don't have a lot. We don't have more iron gear wheels. I'm just hoping we get the rocket shooting speed five, and then we can take small pause let everything catch up and then we can get we can continue with the rest oh but we actually do have a few mine drills at the moment let's grab them we needed them for oh is that enough no it's not how much we have enough to be able to create more mining drills. Okay, let's actually drop those mining drills again, just because we can. And go back and grab a bit of uh, yellow belts. And then we can create the mining drills we need. And then we go down and build some uh, coal mining. That will be a bit interesting. Not, not really. I mean, it's mining. It's just mining. But we haven't done any coal mining before. Oh, this train. Please go to temp unload. This train. Please go to temp unload. Okay. 
Let's go to temp unload. That is going already. That's what we said. We should stop this train up here. Go to manual, please. And the other train, please get here. Where are you? Oh. Wait, this is a problem. Let's grab the car. Um, let's hope none of the trains leave before we get there. It seems like those trains are blocking each other. Or that one is blocking the other. And that's... I mean, it's not a big deal. But it's not what we want to happen. We want the trains to work fine together. Yeah, that's a problem. This is far too far to the left, this station. You please go. Mm. I could just send that back, but the problem is that... Uh, it's fine the way it is. It's fine. I, I could move this station to the right, but then we don't have a lot of space to actually get this in order. We could move it one train track space to the right, but it wouldn't solve the problem. So, yeah, that's no good. You please go back to, uh, to unload and then the coal train will get there as well and we just need to beat the coal train otherwise it will leave again but it wasn't that hard to beat it actually okay you go to manual please oh what what Really, what am I doing? I just was down at the uh, oil outpost. Oh, coal outpost, I mean. And I didn't build any... Uh, I didn't build any... What do you call it? Any miners. And then I went back to grab the train to go down here again. That doesn't make, make much sense at all. But okay, let's create a few mining drills. That's like 40, 10, 20, yeah. I think that's 40 of them. And we have a bit of belts. We probably need like at least two splitters. Probably more, but two will be enough to start at least and then we can see hopefully we can build this from north to south oh of course we need more miners always more resources needed oh and there's a train the track let's have a look at it I don't know train. Oh yeah, somewhere we have these chests. Somewhere we don't have them. Really, I don't care if we have them or not. As long as we... Ha oh... They should really be there for the... Uh, let's have a look. They should be there for the loading stations. The unloading, that's a different thing. But they seem to be there for all of the loading. It's there, it's there. It's there, it's definitely over here, and here, maybe we don't have it for the stone, we have it for the stone, okay, so we actually have those everywhere, then I'm just confused again, okay, let's see what we can do about this instead. 
Oh, I think I think we should place it with one gap only, and that should line up everywhere. Yes, it will. Nice. Then we have one, two, three, four sets, which will actually merge perfectly. Okay. Now the problem is that coal is kind of dark, so it's hard to see if you get all of it. Hmm, let's get rid of that tree. Oh, we have a uh, stone just beside it. We don't want to get stone on the coal line. Let's see, we can't get it there, but we can get it over here. Let's see, coal, and there we got stone. Okay, so that's fine. This is where we want it. I think we want it over there. Yeah, there we get stone. This is the perfect spot. Oh, over here. Over there. Here. Let's grab all of the miners. And over there. And then on the other side, we go there, there. There. It's really hard to see. Okay, so we have over there, we have stuff. Not over there, so we can go all the way over there. These, oh, we need one in the middle. I did not expect that. Okay, let's move that. Let's move that, and then one in the middle. Uh, yep, that was perfect. That's good. And we have one square more over here, which means we could do it something like this. Of course, we don't have proper spacing for all of our power stuff. Oh. One square for each. Let's see. This is moved by one and this is moved by two. So there is two squares and then we have one in between the other ones. And then over here we have... We don't know what we have. We have that apparently. And over here, let's see. There we go. And then we need a bit of, uh, of belts. So the idea is to go the belts like this. Combine those two belts over here, combine those two belts over here, and then we have a splitter in the middle and get both lines out to these loading areas. There we go. Oh, do we have enough splitters? We created two. We want one more. Oh, research done. Yay. Let's have a look at the map now. Just to see what we have in when it comes to research and what we are still creating. Of course we are creating everything. It's quite a few things we are creating, but one thing that surprises me is that we have almost all of the speed modules we need, which means that we are creating too many of those. Or not creating, but we have too many in storage. So I will change that to 50. That should be fine. 
but let's just wait at the moment to get oh let's wait for a moment to get everything in order and then we can worry about the uh, No, I placed one belt over here, just want to grab the belt, there we go, yeah, then, then when we have the, uh, have filled up our inventory, oh, I'm just gonna go into the research, actually, let's have a look, oh, we only got the productivity module, there's nothing to talk about, that's what we want, and then we want the productivity module free, and then the rocket silo rocket silo that will be really hard and then we need to create all of these stuff and everything that belongs to them that will take a lot of time i'm just trying to see if i get, can get two li two lines through without tearing down any trees nah it doesn't seem like it Not, not in an easy way, at least. Let's get this tree removed. Oh, we need to remove that either way. Oops. Something like that. So we just need the splitters to be in between. Oh, we can just do that. One splitter there, one there can split it over there and then we have uh, this one there we go with that we go up we go down we go over there and I think we have everything covered the only thing we need is of course a lot of power well, not a lot of power, but we need a lot of, uh, we need quite a few substations. That doesn't equal a lot of power, it just equals a lot of reach where we can use our power. Yeah, four substations, that seems to be about right. And a power pole, and everything should be working. Let's plant down some lamps as well. I seem to forget that way too often. Okay, that's all the lamps we had. Wait. Don't we have one single belt left? That's perfect in that case. Oh. I thought we could do it with only removing one, uh, one tree, but apparently not. Let's see, copy paste. And if we jump into the train and go to unload, Hopefully the train will stop there, basically forever. Or until we send it away manually. I guess that's, that's what we will have to do to get it to the right position when we move the stations. But apart from that, it should stay here and it should not unload, which is what I'm afraid it will start doing. Let's go over and have a look at the signals. Because this is what, if the amount of coal is less than zero, okay, that isn't a problem. That's basically what we set up 
at our coal deposit or coal storage area. So this train will just stay here forever. Which suits me well, pretty well. Okay, we need blue circuits and we need red circuits to get our personal robot parts in order. Oh, we don't have any red circuits. Do we have blue circuits, please? Yes, we do. One more. Then we can get two. We need a hundred more blue circuits. What is it that we are missing right now? We are missing copper cable. Yeah, we always miss copper cable, I think. And, well, honestly, everything else. Everything that has to do with research, we are missing. It is kind of expected and, well, we can do something about it, I guess. We need to get more research, more science packs. Oh, we don't have a green wire over there. Let's see. Yeah, let's go over and help out the red science packs and the green science. The red, we can help out uh, simply. There we go. What about the green? Not really. Blue, we don't have those anymore. That doesn't make sense. Those we can't do and these we can't. Oh, that's the copper cable. We can't really do that because we have no copper cable. Uh, what was it we were gonna change? Oh, it was these. We were going to change the amount of speed modules from 250 to, let's say, 100. Then we should still have plenty, I hope, and it shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, so what do we need? We need... Uh, we need weapons. And we need mining drills. Yay, mining drills. Oh, we don't have uh, enough iron. Let's get a bit of iron, I guess. If we can. Or, or, or. Let's not do that at all. Let's have a look. What do we need for this? We need personal robot and processing units. Personal robot we need steel, we need iron gear wheels, advanced circuits and batteries. Let's get rid of everything else. There we go, there we go, there we go. We don't need those, don't need that. We don't need those, we don't need that much steel. I don't know how much we need, but we want a bit of it. We don't need any radars, probably ever. The rest of the stuff we have is, some, is stuff that we are using all of the time. We want to keep it. Oh, except for what we have in the trash slots. Okay, let's go back. Oops. Let's not get rid of the concrete. Let's instead go and grab more concrete. Is that filled up? Concrete, we have a positive amount. Actually, let's get rid of the concrete. I do not want even more stuff onto the belts now. So let's get, get rid of the concrete to free some space. And then we can start moving, uh, moving copper manually. And with copper, I mean coal. Okay, let's see, what can we put in the trash slots? There we go. It's just to fill them up as best as we can. 
We don't actually want it in the trash slots, but then we can fill everything else up with uh, coal. And we can just go over and plunk it down in one of these chests. Well, several of the chests possibly. But plunk it down and then we can prepare to get everything, uh, to get the stations moved. Okay, and then we go back, get another load of uh, coal, and we do it all again. Yay! It is not helping out as much as I was hoping it would. We don't get enough with every every time we go. Can we use the car? I mean, we could get the car up here. Yeah, uh, with problem we could. But to get it over here? No. No. I can't see a way to use the car. I mean, we could get all the way over here with the car and all the way up here. But that's, no, that's more, that's uh, gonna be more complex and probably take a longer time than if we just walk and get everything manually. Legs would of course help. Legs would be really good right about now. There we go, and let's go for another. Oh yeah, I have to remember, I, have, I want to extend this coal stuff a little bit. Not the amount of chests, I hope really hope we don't have to extend it that. We have so many chests already. But I want to extend the... Uh, yeah, let's go. I want to extend the unloading of coal. Because we will get into trouble with only having coal on one side of the belt. So we... Uh, I will show when we get older. Basically what will happen is that the coal on this side will run out. Come on to think about that. Let's oh it's full. The coal on this side will eventually run out, and then we only have coal on this side. And the coal on this side of course we will unload it. But if we only have one inserter, then we don't have enough inserters. So let's get another inserter to unload the coal. And then we just hook it up to the other inserter, copy paste, and then we have the same. So we are basically unloading two pieces of coal from this side instead of one from this side and one from this side. And we have split right after, so that's fine. Of course, in the start, we have this one as well, meaning we will unload a little bit too much coal. But I don't see a big problem in that. Okay. So let's get a bit more coal. And then we could probably start to get everything ready for moving the stations. Oh, already full. Okay, then let's move. I should of course have filled this chest. There we go. There we go. 
few over there, a few over here. Let's fill all of the chests. There we go. Oh, this isn't full, but that's that's fine. Oh, we don't have enough chests. I just realized we have four chests plus this. Let's say, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chests left. And over here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that we are that we know are full. But then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, that is full. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 chests. And we have like seven. Yeah, we need more chests. Okay. Let's unload some, no, let's not unload the stack inserters. Let's unload, we don't need that either. Oh, we have a few steel chests already. But let's unload everything that we don't need now, except the, except the robots, I guess. Let's see, chests. And we should have don't need the iron chest let's get that fixed uh, with the next run extend the area and then we will need we will need a few a few more stack inserters I think that's why I kept the ones I have okay everything full and yeah, if I emptied this out, I could use the trash slots. I'm going to think about that. Why am I holding a lot of uh, electronic circuits? I mean, it's only one stack, but still. I could do that and get another stack this way instead. There we go. Oh, that's it. More chests. Where do we plunk those down? Well, let's first get rid of a few trees. I think we have to build like another row. I don't see any way around it. Well, we could do it kind of manually or something like that, but that's not that's not the solution. Okay, just plunk the chests there for now and since we are running manually we can just go and uh, plunk it down manually as well oh and let's get rid of a lot of steel chests and a bit of raw wood oh and then we have all of the coal that's on the belt that we aren't that we don't have any control over whatsoever. We have no idea how much that is. But we will figure it out eventually. We are basically emptying one chest every time we run over here. So let's just go and empty this row of chests and then the two last rows, those have to be emptied manually, and then we can start working on the on the removal of everything. So let's get these chests stuffed with coal. Actually, let's fill those chests, maybe. No, let's get that row, and then we can empty out or move coal from the chests below if we need to which we will need since we only have a few chests left over here how much 212 that's that 
we get those and yes we get a little bit more unloaded onto the belt but it felt like it was worth it to not have to run another round not have to go and do this once more for 200 coal Oh, let's get rid of these inserters. Those will only mess things up. And we are only grabbing half of the contents of the chests. So that should work out pretty good, I think. Half of that. There we go, half of those, another chest, half of those, for another chest, and all the chests are full. Yay! Let's see. Let's put the rest over here, and then we have enough. Then everything will kind of sort itself out, I hope. And yeah, we have these chests that we need to connect somehow sometime but hopefully this will solve itself out from now on so what we can do and what we will do is to start to see how many uh, circuits we have 75 of those and no red ones okay that was a waste of time okay so what we can do and what we will do is to empty this area all we need is to leave this small part and make sure we still have the green wires still connected I guess we need to make sure we still have some power. We should connect the power over here actually. And we have some, we don't have the power on the right side. Why do we have this connected? We, okay, that's wrong. Uh, do, 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 do. do we have a copper cable? No. Can we grab a copper cable? No. Yes, we can. We don't want power for the uh, refineries from more than one location and that's from the right so there we go then we have power over here we need power over there oh and this is this is pretty important area to have power on actually and not that one let's go over here I think there we go there we come on there we go and here we go then we have power on the left side what about green circuits or green wires we could get those connect oh they didn't connect we could get those connected the same way then we don't need to worry about neither power nor uh, green circuits anymore. Let's hope it's the same green network. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Okay, that's connected. Let's have a quick look. Is everything connected? It is connected here. It's connected from over there. Yes. Um... Okay, this will be disconnected. That's fine. This will not be disconnected. That, that will be disconnected. That's fine. That's okay. Let's grab everything in here. Oh, we need the power over here as well. 
we need to be able to uh, have the pole to actually unload the chests. There we go. Now we are picking everything up. Does this help us really? I feel that it doesn't really help us. Let's uh, go and grab a bit more coal manually. And yes, I know that will cause problems with the unloading of the robots. And they will have to keep up with me, try to. And I will try to not stay and wait for them. <laughs> That's the problem. If I stay and wait, then uh, it will start to beep all over. There we go, and now we can stay and wait. Oh, but the robots have run out of charge, many of them at least. So let's get back to me robots, please. Maybe I should make sure that everything gets cleared out before I do more, uh, more cold runs. Yeah, because if I do that, I could make sure that we have enough uh, enough space as well. But there's loads of stuff to be picked up. 400 objects. Let's get these just because we can. Mm. Actually, let's do it like this. That's an easy way. Right now, I'm not that worried. Let's just get everything onto the belt. Okay, and we're full again. But that's good. The robots have picked up everything. Oh, we even have a chest over here. Let's empty a lot of our inventory. There we go. All of the robots are back. Um, and we can even get a little bit more coal. Yes, there we go. And if we go by these chests, we can empty out even more. Do we have, yeah, we have the stack inserters already. Let's empty all of those out. Anything else? No, we want, we actually want the lamps. Yeah, the power pole. So the next round we can carry even more. Yay. And we still don't have any red circuits. Fair enough, I guess. Okay, and we go back, grabbing more. And I'm thinking that we should uh, start just pushing all of the coal into our, our overflow chests and let it solve itself out. Then we don't have to do all of this manual work. Oh, but we still have a fair amount of coal left. Now let's put it in our overflow chests. The goal right now, yeah, the goal right now is more to get rid of the coal than to actually get it into the correct place. We have a chest over here. Problem is that our overflow chests are pretty small. So even if we fill them with stuff, it doesn't make a big difference. Oh. Not as big of a difference as we want at least. Okay, we have gotten that fixed, most of it. Let's get the next round. And I guess we can go all the way with this set. 
we can fill the chests as we go, maybe. Oh, we have these chests. These are good chests. Okay. And we have a lot of those. Uh, well, we only have four, and we have way more than four. Four chests worth of uh, coal up in that area we are emptying out. So maybe it's not enough anyway. Oh, but we have over here we can add more coal as well. We can even, we can cheat and add coal in the chests for the other resources as well. I think, I actually think we will do that. But probably we need to move these chests as these chests as well. But it's mm, it shouldn't be a big deal, hopefully, to have a lot of uh, coal over here. When we move the stuff, we have to empty it out. But then we have to move it then and not now. And moving it later, then we will have emptied out a bit more, and these chests might be a bit uh, easier to empty out into, so yeah. This might work out okay. I mean, this is in no way a good solution. This is, I would say, not even a solution. But it doesn't always need to be a solution, as long as it works. This is just... There we go. This is just a one-time thing we are doing. We are not going to worry about how it looks afterwards, as long as it's being cleaned up automatically. And it should be. There we go. Oh, that wasn't the chest I thought I was uh, placing it in, but never mind. It kind of works anyway. How much? 600. Please tell me that we have that space, not over there. Let's grab those 200 and then we can go down. Actually, let's mark this for demolition. And then we can go down and get the rest of the stuff. This is a chest that I was thinking about. And this is another. Then we can demolish this and get the movement going. Yay! Yeah, there we go. So, what we need to do now is basically move these stations up here in a way that this line is this line. Oh, maybe we want to get all of our splitters removed over here. There we go. Then we should be able to make a blueprint of this, move it up, and I don't know what to do with the with the uh, uh, arithmetic stuff, the combinator stuff, or with this combinator stuff. But for the moment, just let it be as it is, and we can just drag the lines up here. Another thing we have to do is to cut the trains off. Let's have a look. Oh, the power for this upper area goes through the trains. But there's no... It's not 
needed that it goes that way. We are getting power for our, uh, our oil up here. And we could easily just bind it together. That way, if we cut the power to the trains, they won't unload anything. And that's a good step. Then we can get this. Let's see this uh, belt to go up here, connect over here. Maybe a few steps to the right or left. That's not the good, the important part. But it we bypass this completely, and then we can get everything. Uh, Then we can move everything. But you know what I'm gonna say. We will not do that in this episode. We will go for that in the next episode. So thank you a lot for watching. See you next episode. Bye.